Good morning everyone and welcome to another day from our Great Ocean Road Diaries. Let's start with Marina's lookout. Uh, 0 to 10 minutes. Alright. This lookout is a hilltop viewpoint offering sweeping panoramas of the Apollo Bay area. It's beautiful. the Apollo Bay from Marina's Lookout. After sitting here for about an hour, we set off to see Erskine Falls at Lorne. It's one hour drive from the lookout. So we have taken a quick stop. We are going to another beach. I just want to have a quick look on the beach. And let me give you a look. On the way to Lorne, we saw numerous beaches and lookout points. This is the major attraction of this drive where you can stop anywhere to enjoy the nature. But be sure to drive slowly and carefully as this road is very crooked and this is the main beauty of this road. But the blue water is just cherry on top. After a short drive from Lorne, you will see green and green means you have entered the Great Otterway National Park. It is also known as the Rainforest. So we have arrived. The warning is again. Slippery surface, tree may fall, take care and snake. There are two points here to see the waterfall, one at the beginning and the other at the end. If you wish to see from the end, you need to wear sport shoes and be health conscious. Hey, On the way to Apollo Bay, we saw this long jetty from the road, so we decided to stop. This jetty is known as Lawn Pier and it is one of the popular tourist spots at Lawn. seafood restaurant at the entrance of the pier where you can sit and enjoy the sea view and try the local seafood. We did our lunch here and then headed back towards Apollo Bay. I have to admit this is one of the most beautiful road I have ever seen in Australia. Blue water on one side, 
green hills on the other and winding road in the middle. How exciting! Beautiful beach. I don't know the name. It's less crowded, so we decided to put our tent here and go for swimming. So this is my home now. We have to get change, and then we will be in the ocean. water is as clear as you can imagine and is dead blue after the bath we got a very good sleep here that is the reason we carry our tent everywhere as it was late afternoon we decided to go straight to our room without going anywhere else so we are heading towards Apollo Bay uh, it's the front beach so we are going there for the sunset now and just to relax so now we will sit and enjoy the sunset experience you know to chill down to relax down my husband is waiting now we have to go for dinner I wanted to eat Indian today so we went to this restaurant it was called Masala Bay I'll put the link in the description box it was very crowded we tried butter naan biryani and tikka masala so we finished our dinner we are heading toward the beach now we'll walk a little bit and then we'll go back to our room and tomorrow we'll start our journey to home. So I'll see you tomorrow in day four.